Hey there, buddy. How you doing? Well, here's here's its eye and face. Is that eye closed, or does he not have an eye on this side? Is it like has it been messed up? Something else I recall about that Greek player mentioned. If you won't take offense at a critique. As a work of performance, it consisted almost entirely of watching people give speeches and receive terrible news. Might have been nice to see more events dramatized instead of described. It is Greek tradition for a story to unfold in a single time and place uninterrupted. It is more clear. If you say so. <laughs> it is more clear. Yeah, he's. I think his other eye is all messed up. Hey there, bud. Okay. Go on, you great blubbering beast. Shoot. It's not moving. Why is it not moving? <laughs> it has grown accustomed to its chains. But no. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off and scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. At least it can feel the wind on its face. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. Oh, that music right there was really good. Making amends. Got a, tro a silver trophy for it, too. Free the Langbacher. Poor thing. Poor creature. It appears the Mimir has enacted many cruelties here in Svartalheim. None more re reprehensible than chaining this creature and harvesting its fat for oil. To perform an act so heartless and to put it out of one's mind to never speak of it. It reminds me of a boat captain I wronged long ago. He too was robbed of his freedom and suffered because of who I was and the choices I made. Sounds like something relating to the other games that we'll see when I play them down the line. Perhaps there is a measure of monster inside us all. That was a really neat little uh, side quest right there. I like that one. That was a good one. The mayor, I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? That it tickled? Merely curious. If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. Shame. I mean, honestly, it's more like Mimir lost his body than he lost his head, if we're being real here. Mine. Thanks for grabbing that for us. Yeah, much appreciated, brother. All right, story mode time. I want more story. Let's get it. Back to Sindri's place. Now tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. <laughs> the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Ask the dwarves! I was wondering if we're going to stick with Kratos and Freya for a bit, or if we were going to switch back to Atreus. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What's to be done? Prozidi is such a good voice actor. We will talk to the squirrel, but I wanted Over to finish here. my thought. May we talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. But, um, 
I definitely prefer playing as Kratos, but I'm okay, really yeah. interested to Maybe see more about the Rift and what, like, Odin and Thor are up to. Oh, you have a side quest. What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. Uh-oh. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the Lindworms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Well, any questions before you travel on? Did you literally just give me, like, a bunch of Pokeballs to catch Linworms in? They better at least be Timer Balls. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? Alright, this is very interesting. I didn't think we'd be out fighting Linworms. About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. Yeah, I'm Until on it. Don't worry, buddy. Again. Peace out. You're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. Yeah, I'm here to talk to the dwarves, and by talk, I mean ask. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but go fetch Dropnir. Yeah, okay. Uh. Dropnir. I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. I will help me kill Heimdall. Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artistes. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying? So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood. My son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. I like this little focus on Sindri. This is neat. What, uh, what are we looking at here, buddy? That's a lot of rings. Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna miss you, little one. Is this is the one ring to rule them all or something? <laughs> Got it! I think. What the heck is drop near? I thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son, but we Enough! Need... Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. I'm a little confused, not gonna lie. But I'm interested to see where this goes. The lady, no idea what he's on about, brother. No idea at all. I know you mean well with that. But, to be honest, I don't like who I became on our last adventure. I can't be around the violence that follows him. That follows you both. I'm sorry. This guy needs to watch the Cell Saga of Dragon Ball Z. I'm ready when you are. Hey, you know what? I'm also ready when I am, which is right now. Let's go. We were just at Svartalheim. Now we're going right back. Got anything to say, Squirrel? Nothing? All right, see you later. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock. We'll go. What? No, no, no. I you heard him. Quit your fretting. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimple shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? I was just there. Well, think the fuck again. Language! Can we can we bring Sindri instead, please? What was all that then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a been making a fuckery of Language! It. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for on account of being stupid. I love relying on my enemies being stupid. It's one of my greatest strategies. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's Go gone. On. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorful. Very colorfully. Forging oh. destiny. Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. Mercury tunnels. Okay. Interesting. Shoot that. Mine. Very interested to see where this is all going and how it's gonna help us beat Heimdall. Sonic Barrels Crunched. When are you gonna play the Cuphead DLC? I'm gonna play with my boy RTK, and the two of us have just not had our schedules line up very nicely to be able to. But it is still, like, on my radar to do at some point. Oh, how do you do this again? It's like purple arrow, then fire? There. Yeah, okay. 
we keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in place. That is not my goal. It doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, <laughs> Highness? Not a thing. Uh, it sounded like a lot of insinuate. Gotta say. If this little passageway was just slightly smaller, Kratos would not fit. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? This is a dead end. He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. All right, I'm going to be honest. I thought that was the right way to go. Evidently, it was not the right way to go. Wait, does this blow up? So that makes a lot more sense. Tunnel for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, all right. Might have done that one. Might have. Okay, please do not ever lick me again. What the heck? I don't like these things. I don't like them in their licking ways. Hey, kill that. Kill it harder. You're donezo, dude. Uh, excuse me, I said you're donezo. Goodbye. Well, I can see why it's an abandoned service tunnel. I gotta remember about these stones Careful, and being able brother. to bounce off of that them. That looks flammable. You look flammable. Got him. What, this? What looks flammable here? Or was it over here? Did I just trigger your dialogue at a weird time? Hello? Hi! No, you don't. Burn. I'm headed your way fast! Fast, you say? Stab. Hey, check this out. Friggin' die. Got him. Hey there, bud. No, end him. Hi there, bud. Another oil spill. Well, well, would you look at that. Easy. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. It's one of the best kinds of oil spills. Pray if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. I gotta remember to let go of R2 so I don't do the double hit. Fine. I hope the thing is a lethal jack-in-the-box. Oh, to beat Heimdall? That'd be hilarious. Will you play Sonic Frontiers? No, probably not. The only way I would have maybe played Sonic Frontiers is if it came out when literally nothing else I wanted to play came out, but it came out, like, two weeks after the Persona 5 port and the same day as God of War Ragnarok, so it, it basically never had a chance of getting my attention. Whoa, calm down there, bud. It's not that serious. I'm gonna put an explosive in you. Oh, look at that double explosive. There's a lot of oil around, I'm noticing. Let's not light it on fire. We will now be using the ice axe instead. I hear something. I think that was what I heard. Excuse me? Oh, they're up there. Get down from there. This looks oil free. Come here, suckers. Hey, check this out. Bye, Frost. Okay, you did not care about getting hit by my giant fire swords. Kind of just got over it, didn't he? Not today. Not today, sucker. Get wrecked. Oh, my word. Rejected? For free? Wrong button. That's the button I meant to do. That worked. Kratos. Kratos. Sindri. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But. Oh dear. <sighs> is this about that whole thing where like Brock is actually still missing like one fourth of his soul or whatever? Is that what this is about? Why Sindri's all fussed about it? I don't remember anything about this lady, if Sindri ever told us about the lady, or told Atreus, rather, you know what I mean. That probably just needs to be chalked up to my bad memory. Bum, bum, ba -ba. Wait a minute, where am I going? I was half looking at chat. Oh, right here. 
It's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. If there was ever a person to be able to say, like, no, you don't get an opinion in this, I think it would be Kratos. Explode. That seriously didn't hit that one? That's hilarious. All right, not bad, not bad. Oh, so wait a minute, so this is interesting, actually. So Freya thinks that Kratos is supposed to be the champion for the Giants instead of Atreus? Because Atreus thinks it's Atreus. 